This is part two of my body transformation series. For those of you who haven't seen part one, I will have a link in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. And for those of you who have, this is part two of my body transformation series. I noticed that there's a lot of interest in it, which I am so grateful, and I wanna say thank you guys so much for motivating me, and you guys are keeping me motivated, which I am so thankful for, and I thank you so much. And if you're following along, comment down below. I would love to read all about your journey. Just so support each other and I will be reading and commenting back to every single one of you okay guys so what I've done was track everything I ate for the last week just to kind of see where I'm at yes Thanksgiving was in there guys so you know I ate good in a lot too <laughs> I want to give you guys an idea of what I ate that week so let's take a look so some mornings I like to start my day off with a breakfast, not all the time, but when I do, I like to keep it super simple and I do snack throughout the day. Sometimes the truth is and since we do have kids, I try to get dinner done at a certain time. Doctor appointment, so I didn't have time to sit and eat. I ate in the car. Lucky. My lunch for the day, I used the kids' plates, that's fine. And banana bread, I love banana bread, guys. So, so, so good. Lucky, lucky, lucky and we had lamb for dinner oh my gosh so delicious so on tuesday i had a leftovers for breakfast with avocado more banana bread and i love peanut butter guys so wednesday morning for breakfast i kept it extremely simple just banana and grape and for lunch i had a slice of pizza with sorrel ginger i love me some sorrel ginger oh my gosh and another slice of pizza Dinner kept real healthy and a protein shake before bed. So on Thursday, I kept it real light. Didn't want to eat too much because, you know, Thanksgiving Day. I want to go ahead and make sure I have all that Thanksgiving goodness. So Friday, I made coffee cake. I had it with banana and more leftovers, guys. That's right. Again, more leftovers. I had that all day. And Saturday I had an omelet with steak, a steak omelet with some smoothie. That's right, more Thanksgiving leftover food. Face to face in and of course I'm always snacking and that's actually the kids section guys, Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> but I'm always picking at their snacks. I like the way you're thinking. These are actually for the kids but I'm eating it. Gluten free, GMO free, and it looks like a Snicker bar from the outside. Definitely not a Snicker bar. This is not bad. You guys should try this. Yes, another day of Thanksgiving meal. Okay, guys, so that is what I ate last week. So here is what I'm going to do to start. First, I will start by doing a 30 day challenge of increasing my water intake. Yes, I am not a huge water drinker, so pray for me. I am going to be drinking four to six of these per day. I want to say four, let's not push it, okay? <laughs> and also, I did some research. Uh, based on my body weight, and since I am breastfeeding, I need to take in a lot of protein. So 65 grams of protein or more I need to do per day. And you guys saw my first video. I was wearing a body trainer, or a waist trainer, should I say, and I am going to be wearing that four to six hours per day. It does help to suck all that in. I'm not gonna be wearing it all day. Oh, no, 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 no. That thing hurt, beauty hurts. Absolutely, it hurts, and I am not gonna be wearing that all day. That is the reason why I'm only committing to four to six hours per day. If I can go longer, I'll go longer, but four to six hours, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I got that on Amazon, and I am going to look for a link for you guys, or oh, I'm going to look for the link for you guys. I'm gonna look in my history to look for the link, so that way I can put it in the description box. If you are interested to get that waist trainer, it is good. It sucks that bad boy in, trust me. <laughs> I am going to be tracking my progress. Like I said, guys, 
this is not a weight loss journey not necessarily i just want to change a little bit of my diet so that way i can change my body shape and we'll take it from there so i will check back with you guys in a month and see how i'm feeling how i'm doing and we'll be doing some more measurements if you're wondering why is the lighting is changing is because I am in front of a window. So that is why it keeps going in and out. And right now I am not going to be doing any workouts. I am going to let my body heal, ladies. It takes nine months to be pregnant and to get that baby out. So don't expect to be back in nine days. So yes, I'm going to let my body heal properly. And if you guys are following along, do not rush it. Please. make sure to give your body the proper time to heal so good luck to you guys and wish me luck and I will see you guys in one month bye